Imagine a battlefield with no human soldiers, no fear, no mercy, no limits, just machines built from steel and powered by AI, fighting, killing, and evolving. Right now, a secret arms race is unfolding across the world. From Washington to Beijing, from Europe to Seoul, nations are building robotic armies designed to dominate the wars of tomorrow. The question is, who will control this new power? And what happens when the machines no longer need us? Our first stop is Fort Irwin, California, where the elite soldiers of the 82nd Airborne Division are training for this new reality. In a series of massive exercises, they integrated hundreds of multifunctional armed combat robots directly into urban warfare drills. These aren't just remote-controlled toys. These are sophisticated platforms equipped with advanced sensors and cameras, acting as the eyes, ears, and even the firepower for human squads. Imagine a soldier about to enter a dangerous building. Instead of going in blind, they send in a robotic partner. It's like having a loyal, fearless guard dog that can not only scout for threats, but also engage them if necessary. This human-machine teaming is the core goal, to use these systems to preserve human lives and operate in environments too hazardous for people. The exercises at Fort Irwin are a clear signal of the U.S. Army's commitment to mastering this new technological frontier, making robotic systems an indispensable part of modern warfare. But as we'll see, they aren't the only ones with this idea. Not to be outdone, Europe is officially entering the arms race, creating its own unified robotic forces. Recent military exercises in Belgium, part of a project called the Integrated Modular Unmanned Ground System, IMUGS, revealed just how serious they are. The star of the show is the Modular Unmanned Ground Vehicle, Themis, developed by the Estonian company Milrem. Think of the Themis platform not as a single robot, but as a Swiss army knife for the battlefield. Its core design is a versatile, multifunctional base that can be equipped with a huge variety of modules. Need reconnaissance? Attach a sensor mast. Facing enemy armor? Bolt on an anti-tank missile launcher. Need to evacuate a wounded soldier? It can be fitted with a medical evacuation kit. With its high mobility and all-terrain capability, the Themis serves as the ultimate support tool for troops, proving that Europe's vision for robotic warfare is built on flexibility and collaboration. Across the Pacific, China is taking a different, perhaps more ambitious approach. The government is funding dozens of projects to create the ultimate humanoid robot, a machine that can not only fight, but can move just like a human soldier. The leading example is the acrobatic humanoid robot, PM1, developed by the company Engine AI. A recent video showcasing its upgrades is nothing short of astonishing. The PM1 uses a combination of advanced optical motion capture technology, similar to what Hollywood uses for CGI characters, and a sophisticated neural network. This allows it to perfectly mimic human movements and adapt to changing terrain. The robot can even perform a full forward flip, an acrobatic feat that demonstrates an incredible level of balance and coordination, previously thought impossible for machines of its size. With the PM1, China isn't just building a robot, it's building an artificial soldier, potentially reshaping the military industry and the very definition of a warrior. South Korea has joined the race with a creation that looks like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. A new quadrupedal, or four-legged machine, designed for military and counter-terrorism operations. Developed under the Defense Acquisition Program Administration, this robotic dog began testing with special forces units at the end of 2024. Don't let its appearance fool you. This is a highly mobile surveillance and combat platform. It can trot at over four kilometers per hour and climb vertical obstacles more than 20 centimeters high. Equipped with both daytime and nighttime cameras, its primary mission is reconnaissance. In a tense counterterrorism scenario, it would be the first to enter a building, mapping enemy positions for the human team. But it can do more than just look. It can be armed with a remotely operated pistol or non-lethal weapons, making it a true robotic point man for high-stakes missions. India is also making significant strides, and they're not keeping it a secret. In early March 2025, the city of Motihari hosted the Shorya Vedanam Utsav, a two-day festival organized by the Ministry of Defense. While showcasing the nation's military might with tanks, artillery, and aircraft carrier models, 
The highlight of the exhibition was the military robotic dogs operating alongside human soldiers. This event served a dual purpose. It was a demonstration of India's technological progress and a powerful recruitment tool to inspire young people to join the armed forces. By putting these advanced robots on public display, India sent a clear message that it is actively investing in military robotics to prepare for the conflicts of tomorrow, ensuring its place in this rapidly evolving technological landscape. Moving from the ground to the air, the Greek company SAS Technology recently completed live fire tests of its new unmanned combat aerial vehicle, Cerisa 2, proving it's ready for deployment. This modern drone is a flying hunter, designed for high-precision strikes. Its deadliest feature is its ability to launch FZ-275 LGR laser-guided rockets. These rockets can engage targets from 1.5 up to 7 kilometers away. Here's what makes them so lethal. They have a circular, probable deviation of less than 1 meter at a range of 6 kilometers. To put that in perspective, that's like throwing a dart from over 3.5 miles away and hitting the bullseye, every single time. This incredible accuracy makes the Cerisa 2 a nightmare for ground vehicles, radar systems, and even small patrol boats. Sometimes, the biggest threats come in the smallest packages. From the Armenian company Isotech Robotics comes the remotely operated ground combat drone, Scorpion IS-15. This compact drone is designed specifically to replace soldiers in the most dangerous close quarters combat situations. Measuring just 1.2 meters long and weighing 370 kilograms, the Scorpion is small enough to operate indoors, but tough enough for the open battlefield. It's surprisingly fast, capable of reaching 40 kilometers per hour. It comes standard with a machine gun, but its real punch comes from the option to mount a handheld anti-tank grenade launcher, the iconic RPG-7. This allows a single operator, sitting safely miles away, to effectively destroy lightly armored enemy vehicles making the Scorpion IS-15 a powerful and life-saving asset for infantry units. With all these new threats on the ground and in the air, how do you defend against them? The world-renowned German company Rheinmetall has an answer. The mobile anti-aircraft system Orlikan Skyranger 35. This system is a high-tech shield against modern aerial threats, especially swarms of enemy drones. At its heart is the 35mm Orlikan revolver gun, a weapon capable of firing up to 1,000 rounds per minute with pinpoint precision, shredding targets up to 4,000 meters away. But its true genius lies in its brain, the Skymaster Fire Control System. This AI-powered system automatically detects targets, assesses the level of threat, and even suggests the best way to engage them. It's like having a super smart co-pilot dedicated to protecting the skies. And while the AI does the heavy lifting, the final decision to open fire always rests with the human commander, ensuring a critical layer of control over this autonomous guardian. The robotic soldier is no longer science fiction. It's here, relentless, tireless, and unblinking. But as machines take the battlefield, one question remains. When they start making the choices, what happens to us?